good morning my dear students so today we are going to discuss another topic in vc++ it is known as mfc microsoft foundation classes right so vc++ is going to be object oriented programming so whatever class we are going to use in the whole program whatever examples we are going to see according to your syllabus all belongs to the microsoft foundation classes okay so here you can create a window you are using a class which which is from the mfc classes right similarly all whatever you create here are all going to belong to a class and we are going to create an object from that mfc class and then use it in our programs okay so for, so far i think we have used uh, uh, windows application so we have used uh, c win app so that is a class we have used so similarly there are so many classes so which we will be seeing one by one which class is used for what type of programming you will come to know once we discuss the mfc classes okay so before we start you should know that it is oops it's going to follow oops concepts and we are going to see what are the classes predefined classes there you just have to create an object and use that particular class okay let us uh, get into the get into the topic today yes so microsoft foundation class library so this is the library which is inbuilt in vc++ so we are going to as we saw that application wizards are there wherein your programming is very simple similarly the classes already are defined you just have to create an object for that whichever class you wanted to use so let us see what are the various classes present in mfc okay so mfc is a collection of c++ classes it's going to be a collection of c++ classes basically it is used for windows application programming so it is going to create application programs in the windows environment right so here as you as you already know there is a wizard also to create this so in that wizard if you see every every class is already predefined in that wizard you just have to change the coding wherever and whenever necessary only those changes you have to make right the first and foremost class you should know here is called as the c object class first class i would like to tell you is going to be the c object class so here it is so c object class is used to derive objects okay so you can whenever you want to derive objects from your foundation classes you have to use another class called as c object class so that is one class you should know as i told you application programs are always derived from a class called as c win app class so windows applications when you have to create you will be using this particular class and you have to derive objects to this class so whatever you wanted to create you will be able to create using this particular class right so windows application class so c win app is the class the next class is if you want to create a window you want to create a window a window is nothing but it's going to be a view or a screen so you're going to create a small form like as you call in vb it's known as a form so similarly you can create different types of windows so what are the different types of windows you can create here you can create a frame window you can create a view window you can also create sdi and mdi windows sdi is single document interface mdi is multiple document interface so these are the things you can create so what class you will need to create all this the class here is called a cwn ND. so cwnd is going to be your base class so from that class you derive the various different types of windows say for example if i have to derive a frame window so the base my base class will be cwnd and the class which i will derive from that base class will be c frame wnd c frame window is going to be that class derived class right so using c frame window what all i can do c frame window can be used to create single document interface we also seen one example program where we have created a single document interface so you, how do you create that we will be using c frame window class right if i have to create a multiple document interface i have to use c mdi frame window class right so this is all derived from which class the base class will be c windows okay from c windows we are going to derive this c mdi frame window class right so you should only know the name of the classes and what is the purpose of that those classes so what do you what will you be able to create using those classes is what you should know about mfc right and also mc frame window handles menu bar so we have created a menu bar already you know that we have created based on a dialog we have not used a frame window instead we have used a dialog again uh, dialog you have to be created uh, dialog has to be created using a class called c dialog and so on so we have created a menu already 
similarly there is something called as document there is something called as view which you can create for all these so you have to use c frame window is the class you have to use right so the next thing we should know is see in uh, vp we have studied something called as common dialog here also you have a dialog class so for for using which you can create color dialog font dialog same like we did in the common dialog boxes okay here also you can create dialog boxes the basic class you will be using for creating dialog boxes here is called a c dialog class right c dialog class is using used to create dialog boxes and you can also derive from that you can derive c color dialog c font dialog okay c open dialog save dialog same as your common dialog boxes okay so so far what have we discussed we have discussed a few classes first class you should remember is called c object class the second class you should remember is c win app class the third one you should remember is c wind windows c w n d class free from c w n d we have derived c frame w n d class so you can also use c m d i frame w n d class also you, have, you can also create menus documents and views using this c frame window class yes so we have also also seen dialogs you can also create a dialog box using a class called c dialog class so using again you can derive c color dialog and c font dialog from this so remember a set of classes and also you should know what each class does right let's proceed so basically microsoft <coughs> has foundation classes so it has set of library which you call it as an mfc library so it has all the classes which is required for programming in vc++ right so it is made up of collection of classes written in c++ so these classes are basically written in c++ Okay, these classes are written in C++ and we are going to use that class as a base class and derive classes in VC++. Right. So, when in order to write an MFC program, so which we will be doing now, we will be writing a small MFC program, okay, which also happens to be a lab program. For that, first thing you should include for an MFC program is that it should have a header file called AFXWin. AFXWin is going to be the header file which you have to include for any MFC program. So, remember that. Similarly, why do we use C Win App? So I told you there is a class called C Win App. So whenever you are going to create a Windows application, you have to use this class called C Win App class. So when you use that class, what happens? It actually initializes your Windows application. So it is also going to create a runtime environment and it is ending services. So how, that, how, how do you end that app? So all these things are going to, from starting from initialization to ending, all the services are going to be provided by this particular C Win app class. Okay. Similarly, C WND class already we saw. You can use and create frame frames. So using C frame uh, window class, you can uh, create dialog boxes you can create mdi windows sdi windows views etc i told you i also told you you can create documents and views okay what do you mean by documents and views so the next topic we will be discussing will be documents and view maybe in two three classes we'll be discussing about that so you can create an architecture with a document and a view together okay so that particular uh, architecture it's going to be created using two different classes one is called a c document class another one is called a c view class so document view architecture is the name so you can create documents and views so what classes you will be using for that you will be using c document and c view class so few more classes for you to remember c document and c view class right so whenever we discuss about these mfc classes so we also saw another program here using using the mouse pointer so you i will be moving the mouse pointer i'll be able to see the coordinates you remember that was the last previous class we saw that so what you should know there is so those are called as message handlers for example if you remember we have used wm if you remember we have used mouse move is the event we have used okay similarly here there is in this particular example i have shown another event called l button down so pressing the left button is the event here so these are called as events in vb but here you call them as message handlers so you call them as message handlers so what do you mean by message map it's a very very important two mark question here in your question paper you can see a two important two mark question will be your message map what do you mean by message map is whenever i have to create an event like this 
okay whenever i'm going to create an event like this i have to declare all that event like you declare your functions in the beginning of the program similarly you have to also declare what are the events you are going to use where will i declare the events i am going to use that in that particular program is under something known as message map okay so how the format here is going to be declare message map begin message map and end message map in between you can have all the events i am going to use in that particular program so in the follow program following whatever events i am going to use so those events has to be listed where inside this message map so message map will give you a list of all the events which this particular program is going to use okay i repeat it here in vc++ events are called as message handlers so you can have message handlers such as left click handler right click handler button click handler and so on so here in this example we have seen something called as l button down is the event so but before using the event and doing the coding for the event i have to declare the events all the events has to be declared all the message handlers has to be declared under a heading called message maps right how do i declare using message map i have to have a keyword called declare message map then begin message map under that i have to list all the message handlers or events which i am going to use in that particular program and then the last line will be end message map so this much if you remember about message map it's more than enough so i also wanted to show you one example where we are using the message map yes now look at this program this is a program which we have seen in the previous class so i'll just show you the code which we have done so that you may remember a little bit of the program so what we did is only this much of coding we have done why this we did this is to create a what create a static text and inside the static text we displayed the mouse positions so x and y coordinates we displayed right so what i want to show you here is this particular event on mouse move is the event which we have added if you see the steps you will remember we have added one particular event called on mouse move when i move my mouse this coding should execute is what i said so here i told you this particular same event here in, in vc++ is known as message handler and i also told you these message handlers has to be declared where using the message map so it has to be declared using the message map so you can see here so begin message map and it is all the events which is going to be used in this particular program are all there so these are all system events so which we have not written this particular event on mouse move is this event that which we have done which is done by the programmer so this is the event listed so all the events has to be listed under the message map so this is just to give you an idea of what you mean by message map right yes now i would like to show you how do we create a mfc program so let us also see how do we how are we going to create an mfc program first we are going to get into click microsoft visual c++ as you know so we are going to create file new and new file is going to be created let's see the steps and the coding also i would like to explain it to you so file new i'll be using windows 32 application because we are going to create an mfc class program so it is going to be windows application program i'm giving a name i'm going to call it as my frame i'm going to create a frame window so i'm going to call the program as my frame right so this is the program i'm going to write okay i'm going to write this program so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually bring in a small window Okay, a simple window I'm going to create in using MFC, right? An empty project, finish, okay, that's it. So we have created an Windows application, right? Again, new, we have to have a C++ source code now. C++ source code is what I'm going to create. So the name of that C++ source code, again, I'm going to give that C++ file also as my frame, right? So the coding, let me copy and paste the coding. So I would like to explain the coding, like one by one, I will tell you what this coding is all about right just look at the coding first line i wanted to show you here is see as i told you we are not actually completely following studying it from scratch okay so just listen and understand whatever things we have studied in theory are you able to relate it with this program that is the actual agenda okay you don't have to worry if you are not completely understanding the code because we are not studying it from scratch at least try to relate to what we have studied i told you afxwin.h is the program so it's going to be the header file so that is the header file used for mfc programming so mfc classes if you are going to write, use in your program you have to include this header file right the other thing we have studied here is can you see c frame window 
So what I am doing is I am creating a using a C frame window. Then I will also be creating an object for that C frame window and then I will be able to open my small window. Okay, that is the agenda. Simple window I am going to create and open it. So what class I am using? C frame window is the class I am using. Right. So here C frame window also look into this line. So what you have to actually understand is the window has to start at position pixel 20 comma 20 and it should be it should be as big as to the end in 400 comma 200 these are the x y coordinates so rectangle starting so starting will be this corners x y coordinate and this ending x y coordinate should be 400 comma 200 that is the size of the window i want so just understand that we are creating a window we are using a syntax for that the syntax includes the size of the window also here, hello MFC window is going to be the title of that particular window. So, the title of that particular window is hello MFC is going to be the title. Yes. So, before going into the program, we are creating C window app because this is a Windows application. So, I told you the class we are going to use here is C win app is the class. Right. So, here again frame, we are creating an object for that and we are going to say new my frame. So, we are, we are going to also use show window. So, show window, frame window is what we have created here. That window is going to be assigned to the new window object which you have created. Okay. This is going to be a member function. We have seen this way of coding already. So, member function is equal to the new what? Window which we have created. We have assigned it. That's it. So, let us see how to execute this program. Right. So, let us see what happens. So, this is what you should understand. Just see that there is C frame window class, there is C win amp class and there are also objects created for my frame. Right. And then this uh, here you have, you can use this particular hand kind of a symbol to create breakpoints if you want. Okay. I am just showing you that. Right. Let us execute the program now. Right. Yeah. No errors. Building the program. Yes, so program has executed without any error. So, what is that execution here? So, it is going to be nothing but your hello MFC window is going to be your title and then the window you have created is only of this size. Where did it start? 20 comma 20. So, when you see the actual uh, window, where did it come? It has actually come in this particular position. 20 comma 20 is one corner. The other corner is nothing but 400 comma 200 is the other corner. So, this is a pro simple program wherein you are creating a simple window. Right. So, coding line by line explanation is also there in your textbook. So, according to me, it is not required. This example we are giving only to explain a few things. One is AFX win is going to be the header file which you have to include for all the MX, MFC programs. Second thing, we are going to use a frame window. We are going to create a frame window. What class we will be using? C frame WND is the class we will be using. Then, in how do you create, what is the attributes you are giving to the class? The main two attributes you should remember here is one is the title of the window, other one is the, what is that, x and y coordinates for the window which you are going to create is one thing, right? Apart from that, C win app is going to be the other class which we are going to use to create this frame, okay? So, for first, foremost, basic class, base class here will be C win. So, C win app is going to be a base class from where you derive the frame window class. Using the frame window attributes, you are going to, you are able to bring in a, open a small window. So, this is called as a simple window program. So, this program is also there in your list of programs. So, you can write this program in your record notebook also, right? Yes. Yes, that's it for today. This is going to be all about Microsoft foundation classes in VC++. So, what you basically you should remember a few classes. You should remember uh, the names of the few classes and what is the purpose you are using those classes for is what you should remember, right? Also, try to execute if you have systems, try to execute the simple window program in VC++ which also is your lab program, okay? So, with this we have completed all the lab programs in VC++, right? Thank you.